Hello there guys, my name is Flex, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be talking about everything, everywhere, all at once. Why? Because it's freaking awesome. It truly is. It is one of the most exciting films I have seen lately. Wait, I think the sound is kind of off. This film just blew my mind in every sense. What can I say? Visually, uh, emotionally, I just... Oh. By the way, guys, spoiler alert. If you haven't seen this amazing independent film, please pause this video, go watch it, then come back and watch this video again. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I want to talk about the plot. What is going on here? This amazing, I'm talking from my point of view, of course. I mean, I believe there's always two great sides to a great story. The story that is being told and the subtext, that is the other story. What you are going through when you read it, when you watch it. And this is no different. I believe this is a great family story, uh, a story about family ties or people that matter to us and how to be kind in every situation. It can be extremely difficult, you know, to get out of our heads and try to put ourselves in other people's shoes because we're tied by our, we're tied by our own culture, expectations, experiences, memories, whatever. So it's really hard, especially with people you're really close with. I mean, brothers, parents, siblings, whatever it is, it's hard. This great story, I believe, tells us about Michelle Yeoh's character. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Michelle's character, Michelle Yeoh, Yeoh's, Yeoh's character is amazing. And she's owning this family business with her husband, uh, which is a laundromat, basically, yes. And they were, we're all struggling, you know? They are struggling with it. And they are struggling with their own relationships and dreams and hopes and what they could have had. <laughs> and everything that seems so beautiful when the grass is greener on the other side. So that's what's going on while Michelle tries to handle her relationship, her business, and her other relationship with her own daughter. Trying to do what's best for the people that we love out of some kind of protection when we expect something out of them to align with this amazing vision of ours and we project it onto other people instead of letting them be free. And that is the development that I see throughout the story, how letting go of all our expectations of people and uh, living in the past and living in the future and simply focusing in the present moment with the people that are with us and how to look at everything they're doing for us and everything that they mean to us and not just simply judge them and, and criticize them and blame them for how our life has turned out to be. Because I believe we're always responsible. If we're not guilty of everything that happens to our life, we've always made some choices that lead us up to this point and those choice as well have been ours. Whatever they have been, we've done our best, have led us here, let's not forget that. So it's an amazing plot, beautiful, emotional, made me cry at some point. You know, those emotional tears of, oh my God, she's doing everything for her daughter. And then this guy, the husband, he at the end chooses her in spite of everything that could have been and the success that they could have had and power and money. I don't want to spoil the whole story. So I guess you're here because you've seen it already and just, I don't know, caught into YouTube rep bit tall, it's beautiful. Second of all, I love visually the effects and the stunts. I mean, Michelle does such a great job. I think her acting, I'm gonna get to the acting in a little bit. I think the, the visuals are just astounding. They just blew my mind. And when I watched it, I thought, wow, this must have been a big team, right? I didn't even look at the credits. I don't remember. But after that, I got caught in YouTube rabbit hole and ended up watching some videos about how this movie was made. And I noticed that it was a five man team, A24 independent film, and it was a group of Daniels. I just remember that Daniels, that director, and then the cinematographer and the visual effects guy. I don't know, I, I might be fucking that up, whatever it is. These three guys talk about how a five man team just did something so amazing, man. One of them actually just ran around with his like pocket camera around New York, getting some time lapses of everything that was in there. And then that's the sequence uh, that they used for the time travel jumps, for the multiverse jumps, when Michelle just 
zooms out and then ends up in another universe. That background and that multiverse jumping scene, the uh, all the ambience that is going on, that was like the simplest thing they could have done. Two screens, oh my God, my calves are hurting. Oh, I'm just like crouching here, trying to record the video, but it's hurting now. It's so amazing. They just use two LED screens, one green screen, and well, great direction. A lot of creativity and Michelle Yeoh's great performance. That was so cool. They seem like so natural. Cut scene, boom, another effect that just blows your mind. Awesome. And then the acting, what can I say? The actors, especially Alpha Wayman, this guy was, I absolutely loved him. I think his performance was so cool, especially when he jumps between Wayman and Alpha Wayman. And just that range is, is so impressive. Kudos to that guy. I love you. I forgot your name. Koo Yeong, was it? I don't know. He was in the Goonies. I, I know that much. And well, Michelle, what can we say about her? And Gong Gong and Alpha Gong Gong and Eater. Oh my God, Jamie Lee Curtis. I love her. She's so cool. Cool, especially as an abusive IRS agent that just wants to be loved and hugged. So cool. what can I say? Hey, it just blew my mind. It just grows me out at some point as way. Well. Spoiler alert, when they just put the hot dog fingers in each other's mouth and they, oh, they bite it off and then ketchup and mustard starts leaking out. I, I went like, oh. I cringed a little bit. I can say that much. And I was like, why am I watching this? What the hell is going on? But those things that just like make me uncomfortable at some point are the things that matter, you know, cause they're maybe opening up this little box that I have in here and they're expanding my ideas and my train of thought a bit. So that's what I love. I thank the Daniels. I thank Michelle. I thank Alpha Wayment. I thank the whole crew for doing this amazing independent film. And wow, it just inspires me, you know, to get my camera and do crazy stuff. Let's see what happens. Well, if you haven't seen the movie, go watch it. Tell me what you think about it. If you like videos, sub to the channel. I'm gonna leave you guys here. I'm gonna go record the next video for you guys. So that's a good reason for subbing. I hope you're doing great. Have a nice um, evening, I guess, wherever you are. Love you.